Introduction is about the principle of seawater desalination. Desalination produces fresh water by filtration of seawater. In this work, reverse osmosis was used. In addition, the feed water flow is cross flow, which are the type of desalination. Application includes household water free feeders and hospitals and then laboratories. Experimental method includes there are two. One is conventional method to interfacial polymerizing polyamide film on surface. This method is difficult to control the thickness and roughness. In this work, we fabricated a polyamide film without a support through this can control thickness and roughness to nanoscale. This is SAM and AFM image. SAM and AFM image show that polyamide film are well deposited. Figure A is the same image of the Princeton polyester membrane. And then figure B is conventional polyamide and figure C to G polyamide film via freestanding method. AFM image very show wrinkle structure via the freestanding method. Figure E is polyamide with U without UV and figure F is polyamide with UV compared to the polyamide with and without UV. Polyamide with UV is very small wrinkle than more polyamide without UV. As a result, polyamide with UV is wide surface area than more polyamide without UV. XPS spectra of polyamide film is measured. XPS analysis showed that formation of polyamide group. We used Newton refractive technique to determine the change in the thickness and roughness of dry polyamide thin film, which are each and also swelled polyamide thin film. Here is neutron refractive data. You can see that the thickness of dry polyamide monolayer and polyamide multilayer. Sample are 2.3 nanometer and 9.6 nanometer. Since polyamide thin film is tested in a salt solution when seawater desalination performance is evaluated, neutron reflectivity analysis was performed on the polyamide layer in NACS solution to analyze the swell ratio of polyamide layer. Swelled polyamide layer has a thickness of 10.6 nanometer, an increase of 1 nanometer compared to dry polyamide. Through this, it was confirmed that freestanding polyamide has a 10.4% swelling ratio in water. When the thickness of the polyamide thin film was the same, the permeance of the polyamide selective layer with UV increased by 202.6% compared to that of the non-UV treatment. However, in the seawater desolation performance evaluation of polyamide with UV, permeance increased and salt rejection was maintained. The reason for the increased permeance in that is that the surface area of polyamide with UV is larger than that of polyamide without UV.